Now in Sunrise, 3D printing has really taken over the world in recent years. Now you can learn how it works. Well, let's use Alex Alisi is at the Orlando Science Center to show us how 3D printing is not only fun, but can also help with accessibility and education. Hello everyone and welcome to the Science Summit here at the Orlando Science Center. I'm here with Xander and Xander, what kind of cool activities are we doing this week? So today we're going to be making things, um, we're making things with plastic, so okay. actually I'm going to challenge you right now to try to replicate uh, this here Bulbasaur, which okay. we made here at the Science Center. Now, the way we're going to do that, like I mentioned, is with a special kind of plastic called PLA. You can actually see the filament sticking out at the end of our little machine right here. Okay. It's called a 3D doodler, so it basically allows us to draw with plastic. So you think you'd be able to copy this uh, and make the same thing uh, you know. using uh, that utensil right there? I'll give it a shot, but I'm not too optimistic. Yeah, I can barely make a circle out of this thing. <laughs> no, that's okay, Alex. Uh, what we do actually have is this was 3D printed, so it was made using pretty much the same thing that you're doing right now, except okay. instead of having a person um, control where the plastic is going, we had a 3D printer with a computer model actually say exactly where uh, to put all that plastic. Awesome. So um, this was able to print out right here at the Science Center. Now, so what kind of, what can you use a 3D printer for? Obviously you can make cool things, but I'm sure there's a purpose for it as well. Yeah, you can make pretty much anything with a 3D printer. And the main benefit of using 3D printers instead of uh, traditional manufacturing methods is normally if you want to make something, in order for it to be cost effective to purchase one, you have to make thousands of them. Right. Uh, with 3D printing, you only have to make one. So you can make things that are for a smaller market for a more specialized use case. Okay. And that's especially important in certain markets such as the accessibility market. Okay. Uh, what I've got right here, is actually a 3D printed chessboard. And you might have noticed that there's no like yeah. raised pieces or anything like that you might normally expect right. to be on a chessboard. Uh, instead, uh, on each of these pieces, it's actually in braille to tell somebody who's visually impaired uh, what each piece is. Okay. And you also notice that uh, as I tilt this board around, those pieces aren't falling off. They yes. actually are able to lock in to the different grooves that are on the board um, so that if you're reaching out, you're not going to knock the pieces over and ruin the game. Oh, very cool. And I see they're mirrored on each side so the opponent can feel which uh, which pieces where to. Exactly. That's now, really awesome. That's not something that you're going to sell millions of, but it's still very important for the people who are going to be using that. Right. Other accessibility items, um, this is one of my favorites actually, uh, is a 3D printed map. So here, take a feel of that. Now okay. you feel each of those sort of grooves and edges on there. Oh, yeah. Those are representing the different buildings and streets. Okay. So if you're maneuvering through a city and you can't see very well or read a map, you're going to be able to use something like this in order to find your way around. Huh. That's so clever. Now there's other items um, that are used in educational purposes as well. So uh, I'm sure in science class you may have dissected a frog. Uh, before at yes. some point. Yep. Um, so what we have here is basically a mock 3D printed frog that allows you to teach anatomy uh, to students. So okay. yeah, actually, you want to give it a go, try yeah, to I'll, see I'll what's going on on the inside tweezers. there? And a lot less slimy. Yeah. A lot less slimy <laughs> and it's repeatable. Now, right. This would allow uh, teachers to use a variety of different models to teach anatomy of a bunch of different things and okay. also different subjects as well. Uh, what I have right here is actually a 3D print of Mount Vesuvius wow. in Italy. Um, so you can actually feel and see the textures and contours of the mountain rather than just looking at like a static picture. Right. So it allows learners to be kinesthetic and get hands on with a different material. And it also lets us print some pretty cool stuff. So why don't you uh, pull out that T-Rex uh, skull right there, <laughs> Alex? So I mean, we can say this is educational as well, but it's also downright cool. It's also just downright right. cool. Um, you can use 3D printing to print all sorts of cool stuff. We actually printed this right here at the Science Center. We make a lot of our own exhibits here in the building. And this is one of the ones that we've used to be able to take and show people on the anatomy of a T-Rex in real life. So Xander, if somebody wanted to like to try this for themselves, they don't have to go out and really buy a 3D printer. Oh. They can check it out here, right? That's exactly right. Uh, we have a maker space here at the Science Center. It's called the High. And we actually run workshops uh, on some weekends where you can actually learn how to 3D print, 3D print your own uh, customized token in those workshops. We also have all sorts of different activities in our maker space where you're learning different hands-on skills to make real things. Oh, wow. So if someone wanted uh, information on the scheduling for that stuff, where can they go? Yes, go to osc.org. That's going to have all the information on our different programming uh, and also any new events that will be coming up in the near future. Awesome, Zeta. Well, thank you so much for showing all this 3D printed stuff off for us. And thank you for joining us here at the Science of It. And if you would like to see other cool stuff happening at the Orlando Science Center, it is open every day from 10 to 5.